Ouch! Stop squirming. I'm doing my best, but eyes are rather a sensitive part of the body. Hmm. Well, they don't seem infected at all. Then again, I'm not a healer. Not really. How's your head? Not great. I feel like trekking through those caves, I must have gotten something in my eyes, but I'm doing my best not to rub them or anything. And the heat from the lava undoubtedly didn't help. Perhaps we should get you a blindfold to keep things from getting worse while we head for Windhelm. Maybe. I'm not sure it would help much. <sighs> what I'd like more than anything in the world right now would be to lie in bed with a good book and forget all of this ever happened. I'm in a strange province with a strange man in a strange inn, and... And books may be the one familiar thing you could possibly have here. I will read Nerevar Moon and Star to you if you like. It wouldn't be the same, exactly, but it would be a distraction. I would feel bad, Zira. We have nothing better to do until Alda Stren gets her armor done, besides sleep. And I'm going to be taking first watch anyhow, I don't mind. I suppose it would be interesting to hear about Nerevar and all of that Nerevarine business from a Dunmas point of view, rather than just seeing haphazard references to the Tribunal in various stories. I didn't grow up with it like I assume you did. Indeed. My father passed down all sorts of tales. Though I do wonder how many of them were just to motivate me. To behave? To keep going. Now, where did I put that book? It's not like I tend to carry much on my person. Myth? Are you awake? Uh. I am now. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you, you just weren't really moving, and... Ah, uh, the courier just came in with a note. I think the commission is ready. Really? Aldos works fast. I agree. He must have been up all night. Well, we didn't. He had a full day, I think. We got here uh, yesterday morning, and it's probably just morning now. Oh, are you coming? Oh, uh, yes, sorry. Uh, lead the way. Right. Careful of the door frame. I sort of remember where it is, I think. There it is. So, I was listening to some of the morning crowd talking about things. Uh, there's a man here named Rogi Nortbeard. He's a bit of a drinker. We could pay his tab if we're in the mood. We might come back to it. You need a healer. I do need a healer. You seem very keen on helping people, though. That's good. Oh, well, you know, after the, uh... The incident with the Thalmor and my eyes and whatnot. Right. Oh, left, rather. <laughs> it's okay. I can hear where you're walking. I... And I can also hear the hammer. Right, we're going upstairs in just a moment here. There you go. <laughs> I think I'm getting the hang of this already. Well, sort of. But yes, I figure I should probably, you know, help people. Considering. Right. Good sir. Yes. I'd like to pick up our commission. Hmm. Is it ready? Of course. Good man. Right, now you have to get dressed. Pricey. Pricey? But worthwhile, probably. So, uh... We'll probably want to go back into the inn so that you have a bit of privacy. That's not a bad idea. Where are the downstairs? Right about here. There we go. Okay. Hopefully I'm getting better at guiding you. It is rather a learning curve for both of us. You're doing well so far. Up. Okay. Yep, I'm... The stick is helping. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. It's just us, Zidra. But thank you. 
Hopefully the room is still somewhat private. All right, here you are. Take your time. Okay. Hopefully I don't get stuck in any of this. All right, I think I've got everything on. How do I look? You... You look like a knight. In fact, you look like you should be my bodyguard. I... <laughs> I look like I should be your bodyguard. Except that you're sort of the one bodyguarding me right at the moment. A bit, but... How does it fit? Beautifully, actually. Um, I'm... I'm glad you made me take measurements. I know I was shy about it, but... Uh, this is... I was expecting it to be heavier, but it's quite light, actually, once it's on. I suspect it's the weight distribution over the chest and whatnot. At least that's sort of how I've read these things work. You look like a force to be reckoned with, and very northern, which is what we want in a place like this. Well, good. So, I won't be too much of a sore thumb in Windhelm, you think? That is a very good question. I don't know much about Windhelm, except for its reputation. So we'll have to see when we get there. Alright, well, lead the way. My eyes aren't waiting any longer, so... Indeed. Follow me. I can't really do much else right at the moment. Oh, I suppose that's a good point. Don't feel like you need to stick with me once we get to Windelm. <laughs> That's not a comment on your company, sir. It's just... You can call me Myth. I... Look. <laughs> right, it's supposed to be Sero or Serio or something, right? For Dunma? Yes. It's complicated, but... Roughly. Muthsera is honoured friend. Oh. So that's a term of very high respect, I take it? Indeed. Serio might be something you'd call a lord, and Sera is sort of more... Sir or Mr. So my father would be... Well, it would depend on who you are, I suppose. <laughs> he sounds sort of important, if you were going to use him for an example of Sero or Serio. Very astute. It is bloody freezing. There we are. This is gloves weather. And I need this as well. Well... Yes, indeed. It's quite early and cold. We are heading downhill. Oh, right, yes. In the fog. So you're not missing much. <laughs> Good to know. We're going right. Okay. Okay. So I've been thinking about what you said about your father telling you stories of the Nerevarine. Folk tales of sorts? In a manner of speaking, I suppose. Possibly just family legends. My father always described him as a serious, stoic, uptight piece of work. I suppose someone like that would almost have to be. Did he have a name? My father? Well, I mean, yes, but I was thinking of the Nerevarine. Well, certainly. Although I'm not sure if it was his real one, or if that's just a legend at this point, too. One would think we'd have better records only 200 years on or so, but... Red Mountain and the Oblivion Crisis sort of set us back a bit. I imagine they would. Are you old enough to remember that? 
No, but my father is. Oh. What? Windelm is closer than I thought. I'm currently staring at it. Oh, can you describe it for me? I can try. It's big, square, grey, and generally unfriendly looking. Okay, so not much different than Northwatch Keep then, I take it? Well, not really. I don't I haven't seen Northwatch Keep, I don't know how to compare it. Right, anyway, uh Your father was old enough to remember the uh stuff. Well, the Red Year, anyway. I've never asked him about the Oblivion Crisis. Didn't seem relevant? Not terribly. Oh, back to the names. My father called the Nerevarine Van and Vasi. Vasi? Wait, wasn't he supposed to be an orphan? That's why I wonder if it was really his actual name. Van and Vasi means lost roots in Old Velothus. Ah. <laughs> well, your name is Myth of all things. It might well be that that was his real name. <sighs> yes, false cognates and all that. Myth is a perfectly reasonable Dunma name. Which one of your parents gave it to you? Your mother or your father? Well, I assume my father. I'm not sure. Oh? I don't remember much of my mother. Oh. Oh dear. I'm sorry. Yeah. She had a reputation for being, well, exactly the stereotype that tends to be thrown around about young Dunmer. <laughs> Which one? That we tend to be... Promiscuous, I think, is the most polite word. Ah, that one. <laughs> I think that's a stereotype of all young Mer, actually. She was also a bit mad around the edges. Excuse me. That's all I know of her, and frankly, my father, for all his flaws, did his best. It wasn't bad, actually. There are worse places in Morrowind to grow up than Blacklight, as long as you avoid the alleys. Do you have any siblings? Not that I know of. Ah, promiscuous. I was actually thinking more along the lines of my father's business trips, but I suppose my mother isn't out of the question either. Let me know if you see anything. What about you? Any siblings? What was life like growing up under the boots of the Thalmor? <laughs> That's... Uh, well, I mean... For most of my life, it was just fine. I was certainly something of a wild child, but my parents were well off and well connected enough that I didn't have to worry about too many repercussions. And we're here. Oh! Oh dear. Well, let's see what this place is like. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Well... Oh... <sighs> Looking for shipping? We always offer better service than the East Empire Company. I was actually going to comment on these Nords. They look like they're giving you trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us. But Rolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Grey Quarter yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charmer, that one. Really? Well, that's good to know. 
Why would anyone think you're a spy? Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their bullying. Right. You take care of yourself. All right, then. And you? The damn Grayskin. Go back to Morrowind. You really think the Dark Elves are Imperial spies? Every single one of us. Wouldn't surprise me. They've done nothing to help in the fight for Skyrim's freedom. Those Thalmor Elves, too. I bet they're working together. Maybe I should round up some men and take us a few prisoners to interrogate. Interesting. Get out of my face. I will. Oh, we're going to the left. Indeed. Oh. Sorry. Oh, please warn me when there's people. I sort of can hear them walking, but... It's a bit crunchy underfoot. So... Is Windhelm living up to your expectations? Sadly... Yes. I'm surprised... You just let him go without... I don't know... Any... anything? Well... It's no secret the Aretino boy is doing some ritual, trying to call the Dark Brotherhood. But who's going to stop him? Me? I'll have no part of that. Dark Brotherhood? Oh, probably nothing. Although, I suppose if a child is trying to call an Assassin's Guild, there's probably something that should be investigated there. You have a very good point. I... I'm thinking I might have to go do that. Oh. Because... Uh, why? Because I'm a good person. Right, of course. Uh, so there's a smith nearby. Yes, we found the market. Well... Yeah, this is a market, more or less. We're looking for a healer. There's an alchemist. That'll work. Most alchemists tend to have... At least I some... I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Good for you? Right. So we'll get you in to see the healer and... I lost my twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost anyone close? I uh, can't say as I have. Oh, well, that makes two of us. Yeah, good to know. Follow me, we're going straight forward. Okay. Oh boy. I'll be fine. <laughs> Master, you're far too old for this sort of journey. We don't know what's inside. Uh, I'll... I can... <coughs> just... <coughs> you see, you're not well. Have a seat, and I'll fetch you some tonic. Oh, if there was a tonic that could help me, I would have found it by now. Ah. Uh... He sounds... healthy. <laughs> Go talk to the man. That's what we're here for. Excuse me. I'm so close to the answer. Ah. Uh, what... were you arguing about? Just a man's life work is all. I finally derived the location of the white file. But this doting busybody won't let me get it! Uh, okay. Um... Well, if you tell me where it is, perhaps we can go find it for you? Oh, sorry. Uh... You would do that? It's good to know there are some people out there who are willing to help an old man. It's buried with its maker, Kural Mill. 
in a long forsaken cave to the west of here. Kuralmil was a crafty one, even in death. You would need the skills of a master alchemist to reach his resting place. Luckily for you, I've already made the mixture. Here, take it. Please, no, don't dally. I've wasted enough time arguing with my useless assistant here. Oh. Uh, right. What is the white file exactly? A legendary bottle, forged in the days when Skyrim was just starting its turn to ice. A small container, made of the magically infused snow that first fell on the throat of the world. It is said that the file will replenish whatever fluid is placed inside of it. For an alchemist like myself, it is the most pure expression of my art. To create from nothingness is... poetry. Right, okay. So we'll retrieve the file for you. It shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. I say that, but... Um, we're actually here... I don't know if you or your assistant could take a look at my eyes, make sure nothing is infected and whatnot. That would be wonderful. Why are you still standing around here? Go get me the file, you fool! I, I would like to make sure that I'm not going to die on the trip first. Would that be alright with you? My master can be a bit short-tempered, but I've learned so much from him. Do you think you can help me? So, he seemed... Well, I wouldn't say nice, but... Indeed. Right, okay, so... We're still in the market, where are we going? I would go around to your left. Okay. Barrels. There's a smith over here. And some shrubs. Yes, they really need to take a gardener to this place. Is that new batch of tomatoes ready for sale yet? Keep going around to your, well, you know, left sure. and back and whatnot. The vine, so I'll have to ask okay. Oh, I see. There's a passage here. And, what is it all freaks always say? and flowers. Nord, I swear it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear? <laughs> well, it seems there's been a murder. Oh. I can smell the... I can smell that. Is that what that horn is being blown for? I'm not sure. Go over to your left and down the stairs. I think we should probably check this out. We're not exactly just going to leave it alone, are we? I mean, we're already doing one favor for... a Nord here. Not a Nord, actually. Oh? Nurelian's a high elf, just like you. Ah. Okay. Uh, more stairs, feels like. Watch your feet, it's probably slippery underfoot. With... snow? Uh, no, not exactly. Oh, good. Very g Oh, I can smell it. Yes, I- Hold it there. Keep your distance. Sorry. Uh... What happened here? Another girl killed. This is Susanna. From Candle Hearth Hall. Served me a drink just a few nights ago. But I can't say I knew her. Wah. Well, how was she killed? Same as the others. Looks like she was stabbed. And then cut apart. It's like an animal got to her. But these are the wounds of a blade. Ew. A few septums from my I'm glad I can't see. Um, this has happened before. Susanna's the third. It's always the same. Young girl killed at night, body torn up. And... 
is this being investigated at all? We're stretched thin as it is with a war. Nobody has the time to spend on this. Not pleasant, but it's the truth. Could you use some help? If you want to help, ask some of these gawkers if they saw anything useful. I'm going to examine the body before the rats can get to it. Oh, Skyrim has rats. That's good to know. Uh, you'll be able to see more than I will, obviously, so... I'll do the talking, you do the looking at things? Sounds like a plan to me. Hello. You like me, eh? Don't fancy those clunky two-handed weapons. Uh, well, it helps being able to not have to worry about edge alignment. And he's gone. Okay. Uh... Oh. This is a shame. Excuse me. Uh, did you see what happened here? Uh, no, sorry. But I did notice that her coin purse was still intact, so whoever did this wasn't after gold. I'm going to keep preparing the body, if you'll excuse me. Okay, good to know, thank you. Uh, right. And you're here. Right in front of you is a man. You might want to talk to him. Always sad when someone has to die. That's interesting phrasing. Did you see what happened here? Sorry, I thought I saw a fellow running away, but didn't get a good look at him. Okay, and that's it then. Uh... Okay. Another one. Oh. Terrible. Um, did you see what happened here? I heard a scream and came running, but she was already... like this when I got here. Oh. Oh, dear. Spit. Coin. Lovely. Talos oh. rewards the generous. Of course. Sorry. I hope the wind dies down a bit before tonight. Hard when you've got to sleep outside. Yeah, hopefully you can sleep inside tonight. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Ah, uh, and hopefully the gods give you more peace. At least tonight, right? The divine smile on a charitable soul. Uh, okay, is, is that everyone, Myth? It is indeed. Back to the guard, I suppose. Right around here. Uh, Mr. Guard? I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. I think we all would. I've spoken to the witnesses. Just like always. Nobody saw anything useful. The bastards escaped again. Well, there might be more to this if you let us help. He is better at investigating things than I am, but... Look, friend. If you think you can do better than the Legion of Guards, be my guest. I need to talk to your leaf, though. We can't just let anyone go around claiming to be on official business. If he's willing, then we'll talk. Okay. And where can I find your leaf? Well, if he's the Jarl's steward, he's going to be up at whatever the keep is. The Dunmere gets their drinks at the new Nissus Corner Club. Why they can't just call it a tavern is beyond me. Ah, uh, damn these Nords and their disrespect. I didn't say that out loud. Anyway, up the stairs in front of you. Oh. Okay, I see. It is a bit uneven underfoot. So what are your thoughts on all this so far? Well, I have... One suspect on my list. Over to your left. And up the stairs. I'm assuming that this gigantic building up here is the keep. Okay. There's a giant statue of... I can only assume Talos or... Ismir or something in front of it. Big axe. Horned helmet, the works. <laughs> oh, there's a plaque. Hang on. 
Let me read it for you. Iskramor, the first harbinger, the first man, the bringer of words. Ah, okay. I think Iskramor was the one who brought a bunch of companions over from Admora. I don't... I can't say as I have much familiarity with Nord lore. That's not exactly the... something that the Elmeri Dominion accepts people studying. Oh. Somebody's on a mission. Anyway, directly in front of you. And that doesn't surprise me. Oh, who was your suspect number one? The man who said he saw somebody running away. It sounds like he's trying to shift blame. Ah. Okay. Now what? I'm looking around. I'm thinking that... You want to go a bit to your left and forward. There's a man sitting at a table, and I think he might be the steward. Okay. Oh, there's the table. Uh, excuse me? I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. Lord Ulfric, okay. Uh, so I've heard about the murders that are going on. These are difficult times indeed. When men stalk their brethren like beasts. My men are stretched thin as it is. If you offer your aid, I gladly accept. The guards will be told to assist you as necessary. I'm happy to lend a hand as much as I can as well. Okay, thank you. That's what we needed. Um, we might want to leave. Why? Because the Jarl just walked in. Okay. Yes, that's not a bad idea. Before we draw any any unwanted attention to ourselves. And before he starts questioning what two commoners are doing in his keep. Anyway. Let's just say my knowledge of how Nords do things is a bit lacking. Well, that makes two of us. Okay, so where are we going now? Back the way we came. Okay, I think I know the way. Down and to the right, would be my guess. Indeed. Stairs here. Oh, okay. Tree. Uh... To your left. All right. No, Lola Gagan. There you are. Okay. Your leave has granted me permission to aid the investigation. We probably should have gotten it in, in writing, but here we are. All right then. I noticed a trail of blood leading away from here. Helgard's taken the body into the Hall of the Dead to prepare for burial. She's a little crazy, but if she knows anything, it's dead bodies. Okay. So, do we follow the blood first, or do we talk to the Lady of Death first? Let's go talk to Helgood before the body gets any more decomposed than it already is. That's a decent idea. Which way? I think you're facing it now. Okay. There are eagles next to you. I think that might be it. Uh, that'll be it. Oh, okay. This sounds... fun. <gasps> oh, right. Down the stairs we go. Ah. Uh... Try your right. We'll go that way first. OK. 
Okay, and I'm going to actually use the stick. Be glad you can't see right at the moment. Uh... Which way? I think to your right. Uh, right. Large diagonal cut from left shoulder. That will be you. Um, have you noticed anything strange about the body? Well, she's dead. But I guess that's not unusual, at least not for somebody in here. I mean, someone who's not me, that is. Sorry, was only joking with you. Oh no, I understand completely. Um, it's alright. Uh, have you found anything... ...besides the fact that she's dead? Not really. The only unusual thing is the shape of the cuts. They look like they were made with... Well, the ancient Nords used these kinds of curved blades when they embalmed their dead. I don't know who in Windhelm would even have something like that. <laughs> Other than me, of course. Right. Let us know if you find anything else. We'll be around. Sort of. I wouldn't hold out too much hope. Now, I really got to get back to the body. A lot of work to prepare her for the grave. Okay, and now we need to find our way out of here. So, left... And then... Left again... And then we'll be going up upstairs. Uh, and back to your left again. Thank you, Myth. And that'll be the door. Right, and now we follow the blood trail. Yes? And for that, you'll probably need me, right? Probably. In that case, go to your right and up some stairs. Right. Too many. Okay. Uh. It continues forward and up some stairs. And it keeps going. More stairs? Yep, go up. Ugh, I just had this horrible thought that I might be stepping in blood. You might well be. So it leads into the house on your left. Oh good. Uh, it appears to be locked. That's unfortunate. Do we go back to your leaf then? I suppose so. Back to your leaf and then... I don't know what time it is. It feels like it's getting late. But that might just be... My strange perception of time these days. <laughs> right, go forward. And left. Okay. Oh. What is it? Oh, just lost. Stairs. Wall. Left. Okay. Uh, right, I think. And we're back. Go to your left. Oh! I think I recognize where we are by the braises. Uh, is he still at the table? No, he's over to the right, sort of in front of you. Okay. Stop. Your leaf? I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. Right, so we followed the blood trail to a locked house around the corner somewhere? It's sort of in a... in a neighborhood. But it's locked. How do we get in exactly? 
Frigga Shattershield's old place? It's been abandoned ever since she was killed. I think her mother, Tova, has the key. Okay. So we'll deal with that. Thank you very much, Yorlief. We will leave you and the Isle to your business. Travel safely. It's dangerous out there. Oh, it certainly is. Also, when you can't see anything. Okay, that's you. Yes. Uh, out is directly in front of us? Yes. Okay, so what's the plan? I think the plan is we hunker down for a bit. If you need to take a break, we'll go to the inn, get you settled, and... I think I'm going to go check in on that boy. Aventus, or whatever. Okay. That sounds like a good plan to me. And in the morning, we'll go talk to Tova Shattershield. Indeed. It does look like the sun is about to go down. Of course. Days in Skyrim just seem shorter for some reason. What is that sound? Well, someone blowing a horn. There appear to be some Stormcloak recruiters over to your right. Oh. Fun. And where's the inn? Directly in front of you. Of course, if you keep walking, you're going to run into it. Okay. We will go around this tree. And up these stairs next to you. These ones? Yes. And we're here. It'll be nice to get out of the cold. Right, and I also have something else to cross off my list. I can get a decent vantage point. Oh. What is all this then? Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Aretino is doing the Black Sacrament? Trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimbar. Always with the nonsense. Of course not. Those are just tales. Fine. Then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait! That boy. That house. They are cursed. Ha! Then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Oratino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. Oh, that's... interesting. Let's go knock on the door, shall we? Right. I don't really want him to see me like this. I'd like him to know what he's dealing with. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Yes? Finally! My prayers have been answered! Are you alright? It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things. And then you came! An assassin from the Dark Brotherhood! Yes, of course. The Dark Brotherhood. It took so long. So very long. But now that you're here, you can accept my contract. Contract? My mother, she... she died. I... I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the Kind. But she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us! 
So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here, and you could kill Grawlog the Kind! Well, I do vet my own contracts these days. Please, Ari. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Right, allow me to clear the way. Well, potentially the easiest contract I've ever had. I'll take it.